In this session, we will see how to write a subroutine in assembly level programming or assembly language programming. The question here is to add two numbers using subroutine. This is the simplest program we can start with to learn about the subroutine. What is subroutine? Subroutine is a code, is a part of the assembly code which is repeatedly called by a single instruction called as call instruction. Whenever we want to do certain operation, certain function repeatedly, then it is better to add those chunks of code as a subroutine. Someone who has done C programming, the subroutines are similar to the functions which you are using in most of the C programming language. In this example, let us write a very simple program to add two numbers using subroutine. So the addition part of this program is written as a subroutine. So what we'll do, we'll start as usual with the data declaration. Then you can just start with the model small, model tiny, you can start with that. Now I'll directly write with dot data, dot data. And I have num1 as usual, num1 and type db. You can just use type db or dw depending on the data you have. I will use data byte. I will write 22h. Similarly, num2 is my another data which is of type db and I will make it as 11h. And the result, it can be dw. It is going to store the value. The next part, this ends the data declaration part. As usual, next we have dot .code, very important part of this program, dot .code part. Now, as usual, start. These two chunks of program need to be written so as to load the data segment and move this to DS register. Now here, I will not add these two numbers directly in the main program itself. Instead of that, I will just call a subroutine called as my add. So my add is the name of the subroutine. This, this my add is the name of the subroutine. It can be anything, any meaningful, any meaningful identifier. Now what is happening in my add is the number which is stored in the location num1 and num2 will be added and the addition of the result okay the addition will be stored in the result now what you can do is let us write a subroutine for this. The syntax for subroutine is so I will just write the subroutine in this box. Only subroutine I will write. First comes name of the subroutine. In this case, it is my add. Then you will have two keywords called as pro C near. There are two types of subroutines called as my add pro C near and pro C far. Now, if the subroutine, the code of the subroutine lies in the same code segment, then you, it is called as near call. If it is in the other sub the code segment, then we have to use 
my add proxy for so in this case we'll use my add proxy in here i'll repeat once again that this is my add is the name of the subroutine proxy in here is the keyword which we have to use as a syntax now whatever you write below this is going to be the code which which is going to be executed in the subroutine now what i have to do in this subroutine is to add two numbers available in the memory location num1 and num2 now first what we do move the whatever value available in the num1 to register al so i will just write num1 you know that this is the way we can just copy the content of the memory to the register al where num1 is the memory now content of the memory is copied here similarly what we do we just copy move bl comma num2 so i have copied the content of memory location to bl register now as usual you use an instruction add al comma bl add al bl now what happens here is that content the addition is the result of addition is stored in the al register which we need to put it in the memory location called as result now you can see here we have declared this as dw now result is in al you cannot make you cannot make move move result result comma al you know the reason why you cannot do this operation because result you mentioned is dw here it's a word type but here you have al register you cannot do it so best thing is that you just change this to db now result is of type db so in this case you can use statement move result comma al now the result the result of addition which is which is which is uh, executed in a subroutine is stored in the result now you have to give a very important statement called as return statement and this return statement is very important which will take your control of the execution back to the main program this is return statement right so this is now a subroutine which will add two numbers in this case now what will happen now during execution first it will call the subroutine my add what happens during that time is the next instruction which will be executed will be this the control will go to the control will go to this your instruction instruction pointer will be loaded to the address corresponding to move al comma num1 then it will execute this then return statement will return the control back to this point here you will have a statement such as move ah comma 4c h interrupt 21 h this move h comma 4c h interrupt 21 h will halt the program this is similar to your int 3 similar to exit so if you put h 4c into h register then if you call interrupt 21 h that is actually halt that means execution will be halted here 
Now, at the end of the code, you have to end this. You have to end this. So, after return, you have to end this code. This procedure you need to end. So, my add, my add, end p. My add, end p. That means this is the end of the procedure. This is beginning of the procedure. So, whatever statements you have in between will be the executable statements. Now, at the end you have to write end start. So, whatever code you have started here after dot code, your code will get end here. So, write end start here. This is the complete program for adding two numbers using subroutines. So, I will repeat once again how this program is working. You need to write a subroutine for this program. What the subroutine does is addition of two numbers which are available in the memory location. Now, it is also possible to call this subroutine any number of time. You can just change the data and you can call the subroutine any number of time. So, hope all of you understood about the subroutines. And subroutines are normally used in many cases in assembly level programming, especially in display and keyboard programs, where you have to convert your ASCII values to hexadecimal value and hexadecimal value to ASCII value. So, when you take a multiple byte, multiple data from the keyboard, repeatedly you have to convert the data into ASCII value. In such cases, that conversion can be written in the form of a subroutine. So, hope with this small session, small video session, you must have understood about the subroutine.